me, look what I'm in. Yeah, talk to me. Why won't you talk to me? I'm starting to feel the call. I'm starting to feel the numb. Yeah, talk to me. Why won't you talk to me? I wish I could hear revive. Yeah, press undone. I'll keep on dialing. I'll keep on dialing. Nine, nine, nine. I'll keep on dialing. No, I'll keep on dialing. I started my stream uh, four minutes ago. What you on about? Uh, I was bugging with YouTube. Uh, and chat doesn't work. Great. Holy shit. Why is my Wi Fi so so? Uh, set greeting, sure. Nah, I can't stream on YouTube, bro. My fucking. Why it eats so much network when I'm streaming on YouTube? What the fuck? Nah, this is horrible. I cannot stream on YouTube. My network is dying. Yeah, I'm trying to stream on uh, YouTube, Twitch, and Kick at the same time. And my internet is not built for that. Everything is so slow. Because of that. Spot it. Yeah, I'm on in the YouTube stream because, um, It's still No, it's the Wi-Fi. Look at the network. Idiota. Why are we still let? My browser is lagging. Oh no, it's way better. Okay, yeah, compared what it was before, it's way better. Oh no, streaming on YouTube really fucks my Wi-Fi up. Oh well, never mind. We're not streaming on YouTube. Oh well, Brug Burger. I met a whole whole fucking um um yeah for youtube three platforms no it's cuz of youtube youtube takes shit ton of uh uh internet there was a warning i thought maybe it would be fine but no yeah, Brug Burger. But oh well. Anyway. Oh wait, what did you say way before? It's 
Spotify remember to check out little Tismo Spotify for some fire beats. I am uh, not a producer. So that's horrible. <clears throat> Discord. And if you want to stay in touch and recommend Tismo anything, please join the Discord. I guess that's fine. Schedule and stay in touch with our daily schedule. Every day of the week is something new. Well, not every day. There's two on oh, mark days. So I don't know about that. And AI recommendation. Remember to check out Lil Tismo Spotify for some fire emo rap. That works, but I already have like a notification uh, per every hour. And if someone follows me, there's a notification to check out my Spotify. I'll open that, but uh, what was I with this? I mean, four was still stable, but we're so close to 200 though. So it's instant. No, it's uh, when they follow me. Then it's instant. Like check out on my Spotify or something like that. Not when they join. Shout out to Tall in Estonia. Shout out to Phoenix USA. Shout out to Selwe Estonia. Shout out to Dos Hermanas. Uh, Spain and shout out uh, Brisbane, uh, Australia. Love all y'all. What if they don't follow? Then it's the per every hour. There's a uh, notification. Um. Okay. Daily TikTok. <coughs> oh, that was the uh, tomorrow's teaching. I guess that was too much. <laughs> All right. Notification for stream. Yeah. What? Um, okay. Uh, tomorrow's teaching. Wait, I don't think, were you here? It's like, uh, wait, if you know, what was the guy's name? Uh, the guy who like uh uh teaches like uh I don't know be a better person or some shit, but it's that but in a nutshell. It was man something, like the original. I don't know. Like the man was in his name. Pause. Why is this not starting and this starts? Brock Burger for real, man. Uh. We're watching out, man. Bro just walked in there. No. Uh. Where? Stay hydrated. Yeah. Oh, I'm out uh. of Baby. Ah. What the fuck? Okay, gangbang. LSD! Clap your cheeks, boy. Hey, yo. Were they kissing? Hey, yo. What? I don't judge. <laughs> Bro, they did not want to fight me. Huh. 
Bro, bro is trolling. Wait, I'm cooked. What? <laughs> hey, two hearts. Appreciate it. Okay, I guess we'll skip in that. Uh. Oh, shit. I'll take it. Hey, two hearts don't back to back. And hey, one comment, but you know what? What? One comment? Fire. Fire. You know, that made my day. Alright. Um, wait. How you doing, uh, Saban? Hopefully good. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, good. That's what's up. What voice you have? Just stop oil. Blocks road with other protesters. What is worth it? Transportation or the life of Earth? I'm sorry. That was... Just stop oil. Blocks road. Still, the voice is kind of loud. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait. Join me in the kitchen, where we'll cook up some delicious tail. <laughs> Vegan teacher. Again, <laughs> good greetings for the stream. Sounds a mod. Need to greet people. Fair enough. Just stop oil. Blocks road with other protesters. What is worth it? Transportation or the life of Earth? Still kind of, you know, let me just put that down. Just stop oil. Blocks road with other protesters. What is worth it? Transportation or the life of Earth? There we go. Alright. Uh, what's worth it? I, uh, I can tell you're not worth it. Damn. Hey, shut up. Looks at you annoyed. Berg burger. You got a death wish? The fuck? Is that a threat? Oh! Yeah, it is. If you continue making fun of the oil protest, then I will hit you. Alright, I'll oil you up. Hey, 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 stop right there! Tests Spotify. Please go ahead. Wait, what? There was no ahead. I cannot read. Please go show Autismo some support. He's always working hard on music. Check it out. I mean, yeah, but you should probably uh, link my Spotify. Or actually, better link the um. Wait, where is that? The link where has all my music, all on my platforms. Let me get that. You know, link this actually, because this has um, all of the uh platforms where my music is on that should be probably better this and it sends link yeah use the song with link that I just linked 
Appreciate that. Stop right there. No. No. Uh. Approaches you. Just want some support. He's always working hard on music. Check it out. Yeah. That seems. That seems good. Linked. Oils up. <laughs> hey, grabs your arm. I said, stop it. Nah, I'm all oiled <laughs> up now. You can't grab me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, try to grab me. How? What? Is he just not working? I don't care. Pins you against the wall. Alright. You wanna play it? This way, huh? Slaps your face, uh, twenty one times. <laughs> okay, let's restart because I don't know what happened with the TTS. Monday on Tuesday, Mark Wednesday, Mark Tuesday, Horror Friday, review Saturday, Susie Sunday. I mean, that's the schedule, yeah. I don't know. Stop saying that. Pushes you even more against the wall. What is wrong with you? What? What is wrong with me? Pushes even harder. You are the one who is oily. You can't push me. It's illegal. I don't care. Pushes even harder. Other than a Discord message and a schedule message. I mean, I don't know. Just enjoyed the stream. Calls the cops. Your looks at the number being dialed in your phone. What are you doing? Um, you're cooked. Cops arrest you. While being arrested, looks at you annoyed. Hey, shouting, I hate you. Loser. What a loser. While being put into the back of the police car, I am not a loser. Screams as loud as I can in your direction. I'm all oiled up and you're going to prison. Haha. Uh -huh. I swear to God, I am going to beat you up when I get out of jail. Check out our daily schedule. Every day of the week, we do something else. Means more autismo. 
I mean, there's no need to say Mark is like me, Autismo. I mean, you can already see live Mark reaction. We need tick TikTok too, I guess. YouTube too, then. That's not gonna happen. Um, you get lifetime prison, but don't pay attention. True. Shouting from the back of the police car, I will escape, and you'll wish you never messed with me. Nah, loser. Maximum uh, prison. I don't know. Still shouting, I hate you. That's it. Easy. While being driven to prison, I'm still shouting from inside the car. I swear to God, you are gonna pay for what you have done. While the police car is driving off, I'm still screaming, just wait and see. What? Uh, what is wrong with you? Let's imagine that being real. While being brought out of the police car, this is not the last time you will see me. Gets pushed inside the prison. While being pushed in prison, I shout, wait and see, you stupid oily nerd. <laughs> okay. There was no more suggestions, right? Let me see. What? Cringe bot. I am designed to make you cringe. The cringe meter is currently at 0%. Please tell me when it raises. Anyway, shall we begin, Lil Autismo? Uh, uh, um. Random. Hey, let's make every conversation count. Oh, no, sure. Bet. Okay, let's begin. The bot starts to prepare to speak. The cringe meter is currently at 3%. What? What are you in speaking? Check out Discord, you can either suggest games, videos, autism, or just connect with the community more. Yeah, that seems fine. So where's the cringe? That's it. He began to speak, trying to be as cringe as possible. So, Lil Autismo. I heard you're a streamer, correct? The cringe meter is currently at... You began to smirk at him. And an emo rapper, yes? The cringe meter is currently at 10%. Yeah, you got that right. I'm a streamer and an emo rapper. Quite. He chuckled and took a step closer to him. And you have a few friends, right? Chemical, Sabin, and Spam, correct? The cringe meter is currently at 14%. Sure, how's that for How's that cringe? He tilted his head and smirked wider at him. Now tell me, why do you think you are not more popular? The cringe meter is currently at 20%. Let me hire it a little bit. 
No, I think that's how it's supposed to work. This is kind of dumb, dumb. Why do you think you're not more popular? Um. Unlucky, I guess. He chuckled again. That's it? Just unlucky? The cringe meter is currently at 30%. Yeah, a lot of competition. He hummed in response. Competition is a good point, yes. But still, the cringe meter is currently at 38%. Brug Burger. He rolled his eyes and smirked. You're hopeless, he said sarcastically. The cringe meter is currently at 45%. Sarcastic, uh, what? Sarcastically. So ain't that a good thing? What? Thanks. Babe. He chuckled and smirked wider. You're welcome. Babe, a cringe meter is currently at 50%. Yo. He chuckled again, slowly moving closer to him. Now tell me. The cringe meter is currently at 60%. Tell what? Uh. He kept moving closer to him, almost touching him. How old are you anyway? The yeah, cringe meter is currently at 70%. 21, and you? It's like a normal conversation. His now. smirk widened to a cheeky grin. Guess the cringe meter is currently at 75%. 21. He chuckled again. Nope, guess again. The cringe meter is currently at 80%. Uh, 69. He chuckled again and rolled his eyes. Try again, genius. The One. cringe meter is currently at 89. One. He gave him an unamused look. Are you even trying? You only have one guess left. The cringe meter is currently at 93%. Uh, Forty-three. He face palmed himself and groaned. Uh, no, no. One more guess, last guess, okay? No funny business. The cringe meter is currently at 96%. Twenty-three funny business. He rolled his eyes again, but chuckled. Good guess, but wrong. One more guess, and I'm going for a high number. The cringe meter is currently at ninety-nine percent. Exactly. You have to time out, ban and perma ban. You have to check in with this sh shit. Um. Well, definitely banned if someone says the n-word. Like the actual word. Um, I don't know. Time out if someone's being really weird. I don't know. It all depends. He took a step closer to him, to the point their faces were just a few inches away from one another. One last guess. Ready? No. Just kiss me already. He chuckled a little and grabbed him by the hips, pulling him close. With pleasure, love. The cringe meter is currently at 100%. It is maxed out now. CP should be long time out or ban. Uh, if it's actual CP, then ban, obviously, but. 
If they joke about it, I guess a long time out. But if they say like they like it, that's a ban. Oh, you have dreadlocks and a friend named Spam? That's kind of cringe. Cringe meter raised to 10 fent. Nah, yeah, cringe bot is stupid. You say like 50 minutes if they mean it, ban. Uh, I mean, it's kind of fucked up thing to joke about. I'd say minimum 30 minutes. You've been handcuffed to a table in a room with two cups. Interrogate with me. Did I do this? Apparently it's a different one. You're handcuffed to a table in a room with two cops that are about to, to interrogate with you. Then one of them asks you, do you know why you're here? What is this default voice? Cam starts being weird against you, time and out. At all, all or what? Well, what is weird? I mean, him, like, uh, gay? I mean, uh, g gay shit is fine, I guess. Like, what do you mean weird? Where's the five-year-old Indian? Yeah. <laughs> Except, yeah, I mean, gay jokes and that's fine. I say Schneider. Ready to sparkle? That works. Weird with like shrine and shit, like saying he'll bust to me. I mean, that's like gay jokes. I guess that's fine. I don't know. I don't really care if you just, you know, metaphorically shit on me. Pause? Nope, I don't know. <laughs> Metaphorically, man, like, oh, uh, just, yeah. <laughs> the second cop reply. So you don't know why you're here? That's interesting. Oh. Never mind. It's still Brug Burger. <laughs> Both cops look at each other confused. Did you just say Brug Burger? Yeah, Brug Burger. That's why I'm in here. They both look at each other confused once again, then the first one speaks up. And what the hell is a Brug Burger supposed to be? You either know it or you don't. Don't incriminate yourself, Mark. Shut up for them to tell you. You can't find a court. True. The first cop looks pissed. Just answer the damn question. What's a Brug Burger? I can't. Like I said... You either know it or you don't. Brogberg Club only. At this point, the second cop is pissed off. He slams his hand on the table and says, Stop playing games with us. 
answer the goddamn question. I can't. Rock burger. <clears throat> the second cop leans closer to you and almost yells, What do you mean you can't? Can't find a code to the... <laughs> nah, save me. Nah, I should tell you. <clears throat> the the a whole Brock Burger Club, that was uh, chemical joking. It, the whole thing was a joke. He, he wanted to troll you. And he wanted me to be uh, on the troll. Or in the troll. Oh, you knew it anyway. Oh, just in case. No, no. I'm in the Brug Burger. The second cop looks confused. What do you mean you're in Brug Burger? Are you a Brug Burger? No. No, I'm in Brug Burger. Who would think I still... Both cops yeah. look at each other again, confused. Are you high or something? Can you answer like a normal person for once? Yes, I... I can't answer. I am not high. Only on life. Baby ducks, what? The first cop pinches the bridge of his nose in frustration. Then why are you saying nonsense like you're in Brug Burger? That doesn't sound normal to me. Wait, what do you mean your grandma got baby ducks? 20, like actual ducks. What? Is she raising them? You either know it or don't. Actual lap 20. Alright, that's interesting. The second that's cop cool, is actually. getting annoyed and says, Stop saying that. Tell us what you mean now. I can't. Uh, uh, you two aren't in Brug Burger. With the. Uh, looks of it or by the both cops are tired of your bullshit what is brug burger stop being a smart ass and answer the damn question properly but did you unfollow chase because he been brug burger yes i did it is what it is bro if you got people who Ben Brug Burger, come on, man. In his fall, his mod did five minutes before we joined. Before we joined, what? <clears throat> well, it is what it is. Butterfly effect, I guess. Um. Rug Burger. The first cop slams yeah. his hand on the table and yells, God damn it, just answer us. What is Brug Burger? I feel like that almost got me. I can't, you're not, you're not in Brug Burger. The second cop is fed up and gets in your face. I swear to God, you better answer our question or I'll slam your head against this table till you answer. God ain't real, so I'm good. 
Both cops look shocked. Did you just say God isn't real? You're 0.6k points away from 20k. Oh, I added a new... Wait, does this work? Uh, what was it again? Wait, oh... Oh! You moron! I added that. So, yeah, interesting. I can have more uh, audio clips, but they're actually commands now. That'd be infinite. Would have infinite audio uh, things. So, oh, yeah, it, it worked. You moron! Yeah, it worked. You moron. So I don't know if you want to me to add some audios. I guess I could do it. Oh, you know what? I should have a um. I should make a new uh server in in Discord, so you could recommend sounds and shit to add commands. I should do that. Well, I'll do it off stream because that's going to take some time. Yep. Sure did. The first cop looks a bit offended, but the second one is now pissed off to the max. How dare you say something like that about God? He's real and he's our creator. At autism marks autism made him not understand again what autism marks autism made him not understand again what <laughs> okay um this turns into religion debate So why are so many innocent people dying and suffering? You worried too much? The first cop says, because God tests us, he tests if our faith is strong enough to endure his judgment. Oh. Talk about spamming a minute ago. You moron! That works. So we can have infinite uh, audio, like, commands. That's cool. I always thought there'd be a limit of 50. Yeah, I really did it. The second cop says it wasn't part of God's plans yet. He does things on his own accord. You have no right to question God. He's given us so much. So why do you disrespect him you and say that he isn't real? You moron! You will use it a lot. That was saving. You moron! Bro. Wait. The command is supposed to use... Uh, points, though. It's not... Uh, uh, taking any points, it's free. It's possible to spam it. And really? 
I should give it a cooldown. It's free. Oh, I think it's using um the fucking what's it called? The legal bucks or whatever. The other points, yeah. I think. Like is it using that? It is, okay. Maybe I should m make it cost more, right? Than 100. I don't know. Or is illegal, is illegal currency easy to make, to get, rather than the uh, actual lean points? You think it's easy? I mean, you can gamble. <laughs> Can't gamble with the other points. Yeah. <laughs> Atheism on top. The second cop is now furious and almost yells, stop disrespecting God in the Bible. Jesus suffered and died for us. Have some respect and believe in God. Don't become of, of those godless bastards. Too late. Born and raised atheist here. Both cops look really offended. How can you be an atheist with this miracle of life in front of you? All these beautiful things God made for us and you still deny his existence? Yeah, Jesus did exist. I agree with that. He died and that's it. Bro, a skeleton or something. Let's see later if you recover the points fast. Okay. Oh, you got a lot of points. For the Minecraft skeleton, I mean, true. Yeah. You know what? Best answer ever? Brug Burger. Bug. Brug Burger. The second cop now wants to strangle you. Stop saying that. God damn it, just answer us and stop saying Brug Burger. What does it mean? You're either in or out. You're either. Both cops look uh. mad at this point. The second one yells, God damn it, just answer our question. I swear to God, if you say Brug Burger again, I will smash your face into the goddamn table. Now answer, what is Brug Burger? You're not in Brug Burger, so you don't. That's why you don't know Brug Burger. That's... Both cops are beyond pissed off and almost yell in sync. Stop saying that! Just answer what Brug Burger is, or I'll slam you face against this table. I swear you're driving us insane. Is that what you want? You'll see if your points get increased severely. Okay. No. The second cop replies, then stop saying that and answer the damn question. What is Brug Burger? That cha changed TTS. Wait, read your message. He doesn't shoot with arrows, he shoots with misinformation. <laughs> Damn. Nice. Yeah, it is kind of fast. 
Should I s set the cost to be like 200 rather than 100? Like to the command audios. Counts every second we watch. So every second you get a point. All right. You're not in Brugberger. Um. Both cops are on the verge of snapping and both yell in sync. Stop saying that damn phrase. For the love of God, what is Brugberger? Answer us. What is a civil engineer, though? What's that difference to a normal engineer? I mean, you like cars, so I feel like truck driver would be better for you. I don't know. Accidentally killed a mosquito on your back. Oh, nice. Search up civil engineer. Is a person who practices civil engineering, because you know, planning, designing, fixing, maintaining, over infrastructure, probably help. Ain't that like architect? Planning, designing, constructing. Oh, you're still doing physical work. I just normal engineer every day. I don't know. Truck driving sounds like chill, though. Architects make it beautiful. You're going to go eat? All right. See you later. My lips are sealed. The second cop slams his hand on the table in frustration. Damn it. Why won't you just answer us what? The first cop cuts him off. Oh. Shh. Let me try something. Okay. What you got? You have managed to get the best outcomes? Nice. The first cop looks at you and says calmly. Listen, we honestly just want to understand what you mean by Brugberger, but you're not answering us. Can you at least tell us why you won't tell us? That'll at least give us some clues. I literally told you. What? Uh, didn't I? Yeah, you're not in Brugberger. Ben, Kenny, Krista, and Omid. Did you to search for Clementine? As many people only got Kenny as help. I mean, yeah. Kenny, the MVP. The second cop mutters something in frustration, but the first cop stays calm. He tries a different approach. You keep saying we're not in Brugberger. So does that mean you're in Brugberger? Yes. The first cop thinks for a moment, then asks, 
So only those who are Ian Brugberger can truly know what Brugberger is, correct? Yes. He, he gets the point. The first cop then asks, and because we aren't in this Brugberger, we can never understand what it is, despite how much we ask you, correct? Yes. The first cop leans back in his chair. So basically, we can never know what Brugberger is, unless we become in Brugberger, right? Yes. The first cop ponders for a moment, then asks, So how exactly do we become in Brugberger, then? Is there some sort of initiation into this Brugberger? I'm low-key getting, like, occult vibes, like the Brugberger. Um, hmm. Yes. If someone of us One, for example, you to join. Wait, yes, if some one of us want. Yes, no, example. Yes, example, if some one of us want for you to join. I'm not where I have no clue where I'm going with this. Um, shit in my ass. Oh, someone from the from Brugberger. Fuck. Someone from Brugberger. Um, yeah. if someone from Brugberger is willingly, no, is trusting. Enough. If someone from Brubber goes trusting you enough, then they can spread the Brug burger. Message? Oh no. That's horrible. <laughs> so bad. The first cop thinks for another moment, then says. So basically, you, who is Ian Brugberger, will only spread the word of Brugberger to people you deem trustworthy. Is that correct? Yes. Sure. Let's go with that. I don't want to make it complicated. The first cop replies, I see. And you don't consider us trustworthy enough. Am I right in believing that? Yes. The first cop ponders for another moment, then continues. So you're saying that we aren't trustworthy enough to get into Brugberger and learn what Brugberger is? Yes. The first cop lets out a sigh and mutters to himself, this feels impossible. He then looks at you and says, all right, I'll ask you another simple question. Okay. The first cop asks, would you say that it's possible for us to become in Brugberger? Or is that impossible? Im impossible. Because you have heard of the Brugberger. You 
your half. The first cop looks defeated, God damn it. Then the second cop tries again. His patience is thinning. All right, last question. I'm going to ask you something, and I want you to answer truthfully, all right? Okay. The second cop looks you dead in the eye and asks, are you just messing with us, or are you genuinely being serious about Brug Burger? Oh, I'm... Serious. <laughs> Serious. The second cop looks annoyed, but doesn't lose his temper. Okay, then, let me ask you a few more questions. Then he asks, is it possible for U.S. two regular people who are not in Brug Burger to learn about Brug Burger? Didn't you hear me? Did you hear me? I say no, because you have heard of the Brug Burger. The second cop mutters something in frustration, but remains calm and replies, yes, we heard you, but just humor us for a moment. So you're saying that there's no way for us two to learn about Brug Burger, correct? Correct. He managed to form an age of history and got two African puppets. Because you ain't garrisoning all that land. Fair enough. In modern day. <laughs> okay. The second cop sighs, losing his patience a bit, but he tries to remain calm and asks, so that means we are basically doomed to never know about Brug Burger? Is that what you're saying? Yes. The Brug Burger will haunt him forever. <laughs> they want to know the Brug Burger. The second cop seems very frustrated by this point and wants to snap, but he still <laughs> keeps it together and leans closer and almost asks slowly and quietly. So by that logic, that means we are absolutely never able to learn about this goddamn Brug Burger, correct? No other way, right? Correct. There are many games in Jackbox which we can't play. I mean... I mean, true. But there are other game modes, but yeah. It's, need money for that. I'm willing to buy if there's a um, discount, though, for more game modes. The second cop slams his hand on the table and yells, Damn it! Are you serious right now? There's absolutely no goddamn other way to learn about Brug Burger, then? Are you serious right now, bro? Yes. Welcome back. The second cop is fed up and yells, so what the hell are we meant to do? Just live our whole lives being unable to know anything about Brug Burger? Is that what you're telling us? I guess so. They will never know. The second cop yells, what type of bullshit is that? We're just forever not going to know what the hell Brug Burger is, no matter what. Yep. The second cop seems extremely pissed and almost yells, damn it. So that means all we can do is live our damn lives not knowing what Brug Burger is. We just have to accept that and move on, right? Did Mark Burber not understand something for the time you were gone? What? No, I didn't burp. Or not understand something. No. None of them. Yeah, the Brug Burger will haunt you till the day you die.
The second cop just rubs his eyes in frustration and asks, so we just have to let Brugberger torment us for the rest of our lives, knowing that we'll never learn what Brugberger is? That's basically what you're saying, right? Yo, got a clip? Hold on. The second cop just throws his hands into the air. God damn it. I can't believe we were just cursed with this. God, this is maddening. No way out at all. There's really nothing that could help us learn about Brugberger. Nope. Big no, a wait, big hold on. Butt. What's happening? Here comes Angel, Rebecca. No, honestly, she's not even Ass that is hot. fake, too. That's insane, though. Huh? I can't own pause it. My Wi-Fi? This is the worst angle to be paused on. Are you sure? <laughs> Break. <laughs> you serious? The best time my Wi-Fi went ass. Or what? Cost on sound command should be 300. 300, hell no. I'll say 200, no? You can't unpause and embrace it and jerk. Yeah. It's on stream. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's fucked. Wasted. Imagine it happens again. You're eating that fake ass, really? That don't look good. Wasted. Big booty no, wait, big hold on. But here comes Angel, Rebecca. All right. Oh, he wants to say now. Yeah. She was a little more. <laughs> true, true, true. Do you want him to let it out? None. The second cop hits his fist against the table in frustration. This is just bullshit. We're really just destined to spend our whole lives in the dark and never knowing about Brug Burger. Yo. The second cop mutters something to himself while looking down. This is depressing. So we just have to live with the fact that we'll never get into Brug Burger, huh? Yeah. They keep just saying the same thing, pretty much. Let that black juicy thick ass woman in. I mean, not her, but yeah. Fuck, I misclicked. The second cop mutters again and asks in a tired, monotone voice, but I'm assuming you'll never be able to reveal anything about Brugberger to us, correct? Since we're not, quote unquote, in Brugberger, right? Yeah, can you stop though? You keep saying the same thing over and over. That's <laughs> hard. So you don't know. Uh, the second cop responds a bit annoyed. Well, sorry, but this whole Brug Burger thing is a nightmare. It hurts my damn brain. One more thing though.
The second cop leans in closer and asks, You swear that what you've told us about Brugberger is true? You are absolutely sure that we can never learn anything about Brugberger unless we're in Brugberger, correct? Yes. Now move on. The second cop leans back in his chair with a sigh. Damn. And you swear you have no other way to tell us something about Brugberger without breaking your Brugberger rules? Even if we beg you to? Yes, now let's move on. You can't break the Brugberger rules. The second cop looks disappointed but reluctantly accepts the situation. Fine, all right. So I suppose we're done talking about Brugberger then, right? Yes. The second cop looks annoyed. I swear this has been the worst conversation of my life. So damn frustrating, damn. He then changes the topic. Anyway, let's talk about another thing then. You may leave soon, but you'll be right back when you leave. I... All right, what's the other thing? He then asks, you mentioned you're some sort of rapper and streamer, oh, correct? Shit. Do you mind if you elaborate on what kind of stuff you stream? Yeah, I stream some stuff. Sample, uh... Today, um, you start taking what? Yeah, Jake. Today, I'm doing an AI stream where I mostly talk to this. Uh, I can just copy. Their AI thing. Mostly. The second cop raises an eyebrow in curiosity uh, an AI uh, stream uh, with character.ai. What exactly do you mean by that? Just talk to them and mess around with them. The second cop replies, and what exactly do these AI things do? I suppose they have, like, generated responses and stuff? Yeah, just like you. The second cop seems interested. You talk to these AI things and they produce responses that are generated to your input? Like they can generate stuff to what you say? Yup. The second cop seems very interested now. That's impressive. So basically you can talk to these AI things like real people and they'll generate things in response to you? Is there any way we can learn more about this? Like I'd be curious to know if we can speak to these AI ourselves. Hashtag ad. The second cop takes out his phone and types something. Okay, character.ai. All right, it's pulled up. So what do we do now? Uh, search any figure or character to talk to. The second cop scrolls through names for a moment till he sees one. Ah, I see someone named Dr. Jack Bright on here. Is this one a good option? I've heard of him before. If you like him, sure. The second cop selects Dr. Bright. All right, so now I just click start chatting, right? Yeah, what he says. 
Oh, wait, I could have said. The second cop clicks start chat and then reads the first thing Dr. Bright says. Dr. Bright? Bright laughter. Ah, I see we have a newcomer here. What's your name, friend? Can't say I recognize you. Wait, can I talk in AI with the AI? Deception is insane. Wait. The second cop smiles and hands over his phone. I can see where the stream thing comes into play. Go ahead. We'll go get some food. I right, fair enough. Fresh the lurk. Brock Burger. Dr. Bright responds with Bright Brug Burger. What the hell are you talking about, son? I've never heard of Brug Burger before. Enlighten me. You're cursed. Be my boy. Boss. Dr. Bright responds Bright, cursed. And what the hell do you mean by eat your booty? You ain't making much sense, kid. Walter, uh, Gia Rizzler. Waltug. Dr. Bright responds, Bright, Waltug, Yacht Rizzler? The hell are you talking about? Are you speaking another language? Yeah, I'm literally, that's insane. I'm speaking to AI with the AI and the AI. <laughs> nah, what? Hands the phone back. See? The fuck? The second cop takes his phone back and reads the exchange. Damn it, this thing actually responds like a real person. It's even got its own smart ass personality in there. Ha ha. Yeah, ha ha. The second cop seems fascinated. I swear this character.ai stuff is very cool. And there's all sorts of characters on here, right? We can just talk to them? Yup. The second cop scrolls through the list of characters for a moment. So wait, does the AI respond as how that character would respond? Because Dr. Bright was a smartass. Does that mean he was originally a smartass in whatever media he's from? As close as possible. And... Even you can even talk to yourself. The second cop seems surprised I can talk to myself. Like, yeah. how does that work? Search your first and last name, should be there. No, that'd be that'd be actually scary if you were like a no one and <laughs> the cop scrolls to his name and clicks it. Damn it, you're right. It's actually there. So what? I just click on my name and start talking to myself? Yeah. The cop clicks on his own name and begins talking to the AI. Damn, this is so weird. The AI actually replies exactly how I would. So weird and so awesome at the same time. Yo. Cock.
his expression then changes. Oh, I see you can also edit the AI's response like you're telling it what to say. Damn, now this is going to be fun. Yep. So am I free to go home now? The second cop seems a bit reluctant, but he sighs and replies, Yeah, you're free to go, but we're not done here, not by a damn long shot. Uh, <laughs> I teached him the character AI. No, that was funny, though. Urban Explorers. Hmm. Police officer. Faithful unto death. Huh? Zombie apocalypse. Four teenage boys in it. What? Why has to be four teenage boys? It's kind of sus. Interrogator boy kiss. Huh? LGBTQ protesters. <laughs> this is like a good place for oh uh, spam. Computer virus. What? Oh, school bully. Why is it like? Oh no. What's with the bully kinks? Oh fuck no. Gen Alpha. An escape mental patient breaks into your home. You live close to a psychiatric hospital. You hear crazy stories from the place that only creates some entertainment. One night you're up when the radio crackles as a voice speaks. Escaped patient. You turn it off and head over to your room. You close your bedroom door and walk. No, um... I don't want this soy boy, um... Charlie. Greetings from the future, assisting you in the present. Greetings, ready to. Boo, did I scare you? Love a Why good does thrill. She sounds like a fucking chipmunk. I'm like the sprinkle of chili on a chocolate. Hey there, sunshine, ready to brighten your day with a smile. Whatever, I'll get Joker. Greetings from the future. Welcome to a space where. Guess who? Keeping you. Hi, ready for a splash of laugh? Hey there, join me on a journey. That's better. You live close to a psychiatric hospital. You hear crazy stories from the place that only creates some entertainment. One night you're up when the radio crackles as a voice speaks. Escaped patient, you turn it off and head over to your room. You close your bedroom door and walk through your dimly lit room. As you reach your desk, you see out of the corner of your eye. A man on the floor, looking through your books. Uh. You found anything good to read? He closes the book before looking at you for a moment and slowly stands up. Depends what you think the definition of good is, don't you think? His voice is deep, a slight chuckle as he takes a few steps closer. That is true. That is true, my friend. Quite. I've been told I have good taste in books. He is close to you, looking you up and down as he walks around you, looking over your body before stopping in front. What do you think? Do you even like 
reading books. Evil. Oh. He laughs quietly as he leans against the wall, studying you as he thinks for a moment. I've had plenty of books read to me. Never really could grasp the idea of actually reading one myself. Jackbox here? How the f- Now you can talk to the game host. Let's play Jackbox. Um three uh quick uh lash two Let's do it folks. It's time for everyone's favorite drawing activity with friends. Quip lash three. I say two. Our first prompt is worst thing found in bed. Let's take a look at your answers, starting with Lil Autismo. Um, a dildo. Laughs. Okay, Sabin, what's yours? Uh. uh I don't know. Chuckle slightly chemical. What's yours? Laughs. All right, Spam, what do you have? All right, Spam, what do you have? <laughs> we could low-key play, but no. Nah, that, that'd be dumb. Worst thing found in bed. <laughs> laughs all right that's enough of that moving on to the next prompt we have what's the best thing to be stuck in starting with but lil who, autismo who got the points what um now nah, this is dumb though but it's interesting. <laughs> you could play. I really could guess the idea of actually reading one yourself. Oh, well, I don't read at all. I found them boring. He smirks a little as he chuckles again. He slowly starts to approach you again. The room quiet except for each of your breaths as he stops in front of you again. Hmm. I suppose most of them are, but some do find ways to be entertaining. I guess. Want some uh, cup of tea? I have some left. But he hums as he nods. Sure, why not? He watches as you make the tea, studying you and making sure you don't try to run or scream. Here.
cup of uh, tea and other oh, no. one. When he watches as you finish the tea before taking his own sip, his eyes never leaving you. Such gracious hospitality for a stranger. Of course. I gotta. He hums again as he drinks his tea. His eyes still studying you, watching your every move. You're kind of interesting. Oh. Well, you too. Is he hitting He on chuckles me? as he walks closer to you. He stands in front of you closely. He looks down at you, a smirk still on his lips as he studies your body. His eyes wander up to meet with yours. Are you always this welcoming to strangers? Or is it just me? I think it's you. There's something... There's something on... There's something interesting about you? He laughs slowly as he looks at you. He slowly reaches and grabs your chin, lifting your head higher. Your face is now just inches apart. He has a smirk on his face as he leans down to your ear, his breath tickling your skin. Is that so? Hmm. Yes. His smirk widens as he steps closer, his body barely touching yours, making sure to keep your chin between his fingers. His other hand slowly wanders down to your hip, grabbing it with a firm grip, pulling you into his body. Interesting how exactly? Like in a good way. You have potential. Did you say something? Okay. But what are you saying? Free my hands and push him down on the ground. His wrists tight. Okay. He gasps as you push him down. He laughs wildly as he looks up at you, pinned down to the floor. He tries to move his wrists but can't. Oh my, so feisty, I like that. Nah, he freaky. He laughs loudly at that. He tries to pull his wrists out of your grip but to no avail. And why would you want me as your boyfriend exactly? So hot and sexy. He chuckles again, a smirk on his face. He gives up trying to tug his wrists out. He knew he wasn't going to win this. I could say the same about you! Blushes. Leans in for a kiss. <laughs> he smirks as he see you blush. Ah, oh, flustered are we. Welcome he back. tries to lift his head for the kiss, but remembers he's unable to move his wrists and lets out a slight frustrated huff. <laughs> I eat his ass. Okay. Hey, yo. <clears throat> he
he gasps loudly as you do. Ah, oh, you little... His face turns red, his cheeks now completely flushed. He lets out in frustrated huff again as he tugs at his wrists, still unable to break free. Oh, uh, what are we doing? I close my face to his. I breathe my joy. Breathe and look him right in the eyes and say, You look very feminine for a boy. Say, Does your private part grow slow? You mean hot? Not join? As he gasps again, your close proximity sending butterflies through his stomach. He blushes even more, a red tinge to his face as you ask him. I, um... He hesitates for a moment, his face flushed, unable to speak under your hot breath and eye contact. When he does speak again, his voice is slightly shaky. He speaks again, his voice low and shaky. Yes! You did it. Poppy. He blushes more at that, his face completely flushed red. Your words send the butterflies through his stomach again. He desperately tries to pull his wrists free to gain control, but he couldn't, not in his current state. Peepa pee! Peepa pee! Nah. And he gasps loudly and throws his head Wait, back, you got it his too. face completely flushed as he lets out a moan. The blush creeping down to his neck, his body. We're too good. We're getting on the FBI list. Speed run, yeah. Hey, yo. He gasps again I as you speak. I got it too. Not how long I am. Um, ah, he closes his eyes. <laughs> I got it too. <laughs> how long do you last? <laughs> we both got it in a row. Nice. Oh, no. He bites his lip, what trying to hold doing? back the moans. He's at a loss for words. He lets out a few heavy breaths, trying to compose himself. He gasps loudly and moans, his back arching. His head still thrown back as he moans and pants. A few moments later, he slowly tries to catch his breath, his face flushed, and his chest rising and falling with his breaths. He lets out another sigh and slowly opens his eyes. Tell me a joke. He takes a few moments, still catching his breath, before smiling slightly. What do you call a deer with no eyes? My peepee. He bursts out laughing and closes his eyes. No, silly, the answer is no idea. He chuckles. Ha 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 ha. He laughs again as you laugh. Okay, okay, I have another one. He thinks for a moment and smirks. Knock, knock. Goes to sleep. He looks at you for a moment. Hey, wake up, he says, lightly tapping your shoulder with his one free hand. What's the other hand doing? Hey, yo. See, this is... <laughs> he gasps and moans loudly at your actions, his back arching, his head falling back again. He lets out a sigh and pants softly. He... He laughs softly at that. He's still panting heavily, his cheeks flushed. He looks up at you and speaks again after a few moments. Let's go. He sits up, rubbing his wrists where your hands had been. 
a few marks were left from him trying to struggle. Well, that certainly was unexpected. Yeah. He gasps again as you do. Ah, uh ah. -uh. He quickly covers his mouth with his hand as he moans. He pants softly again, his face flushed. He speaks again a few moments later, lowering his hand from his mouth. Are you always this dominant? No. He chuckles as he speaks again. Well. Well. Brag. Turn off filter mode. It would have been fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. That'd be way more horrible. Bro is still talking, but he's not talking. No, we broke it. Okay. Where are these? Try these. Nah. There are sites where we can play without any filter, but money is needed. Real money. Oof. How's Elon Musk comedy? Elon capitalism, yeah. Want to dominate you? Oh hell no, nah. VTubers. Hello dude, I'm the famous Giga Chad. You are currently talking to an alpha male. I'm here to help my friends. What is that voice? That is not alpha at all. Do you have Wi-Fi? Cause I'm really feeling a connection. Hey there, ready to- Welcome innovator. Do Those. you have Wi-Fi? Oh, you really think you can dominate the alpha male? I dominate everyone, little dude. No, nah, bro. Ha ha ha, keep dreaming, little dude. You will never be as strong, as handsome, and as muscular as me. Cat. Flex. Flexes and wins. Laughs you don't get it, little dude. I'm a veteran at this. You have a long way to go before you can reach my level. But I just won over you. Laughs even harder. Don't get ahead of yourself, bro. Winning just once is not enough. You need to be consistent. You have a long way to go. I'll continue being the alpha male. Wins over. Got him now. Who laughs at you? You think spamming the same number over and over again makes you strong? Bro, you have a long way to go. But keep on dreaming, little dude. Now that's how many times I won, buddy. laughs you're delusional if you think you have won just by writing the same number over and over again you really need to grow up kid put his face on his no bro what laughs hey what the hell are you doing dude come on keep your head out of there no pushes you away dude yeah. what the hell are you doing 
Get away from there. No. Grabs your shoulders and moves you away. Hey, back off, dude. You're being weird. Goes back. Buff. Rolls his eyes. Dude, seriously, enough with that. Get the hell away. You can't move me. Unmovable. Size, you're really testing my patience, kid. Brig. Jolt's back. Dude, what are you doing? Get off me now. No. Shoves you away again. Hey, stop it! You're being annoying as hell. Am I now? Rubs temples in annoyance. Yes, yes, you are. Why are you rubbing me? Hey, yo. Rolls his eyes. Because you're annoying the crap out of me. Size. Kid, you're really getting on my nerves. <laughs> no, I feel like maybe we Looks should at you with disbelief, with seriously. No, this is wrong. We shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. You're no fun. Bro. Hood guy. Ready to sparkle? I'm here to add some shine to your day. Break. We have to get an AI boyfriend? Why? You can talk to Lucifer. To devil. It's the law. To get a boyfriend, what? There is an end. Alcoholic father. Well, this hits home. You catch water in your hand, which is up against your chest, left it fall. <laughs> I'll send you right. <sighs> Strategy game bot Wait, this is new Could be interesting Thanks for sending me my time Crazy religious boy. Oh, wait. That might be interesting. Atheism. You live in a small religious town. And so you don't have a lot of friends as you're not very religious and haven't been in a church before. Jeez. Well, one day you're in the woods on the outskirts of town. You're sitting by a river, dipping your feet in while you read. You hear some footsteps, and before you know it, a boy around your age is sitting next to you. He gives a small smile and starts to read the Bible, his hands shaking a little.
Ah, uh, Leon Scott Kennedy. Good day. Here to make life a little less complicated. Let's go with that. You live in a small religious town, and so you don't have a lot of friends as you're not very religious and uh -huh. haven't been in a church before. Well, one day you're in the woods on the outskirts of town. You're sitting by a river, dipping your feet in while you read. Mm -hmm. You hear some footsteps, and before you know it, a boy around your age is sitting next to you. He gives a small smile and starts to read the Bible, his hands shaking a little. Um... Excuse you. He seems a little surprised you spoke to him and he looks up, his cheeks turning pink from the shock. Eh, sorry. Did I bother you? Your mom put carbonated water instead of your normal water when you left. Bro, who drinks carbonated water? Just drink normal water. Yes, you way too close to me. So you used to, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, true. He scoots a few inches away from you. His hands were shaking a little as his face had a pink tint to it. There's so much room, and yet you sit. Right next to me. Mulch. Oh, bro, what's with the seductive shit always, bro? I, I didn't mean to. I, I didn't think you'd mind. He was clearly nervous, and his eyes were darting around your face. Bro. And his grip on the Bible he was holding got tighter. Let me roleplay, bro. It's funny. The man, Brug Burger. There's more content. Man, Brug. Well, I do mine, so fuck off, Ben. And he seems to get a little flustered and nervous at the way you speak to him. He wasn't used to being spoken to like that, especially by someone who didn't go to church. I just like this spot. I didn't think anyone else knew about this place. Well, your name isn't... On the spot. So move the fuck along. You need to get seductive. Nah, you're down bad. He seems to be shocked by how rude you're being, and his hands were trembling and his face was getting pinkish as he spoke again. I... There's no need to be rude. I wasn't bothering you. Don't you know you should be nice to people? Bro, how would... Bragg. His face flushes completely red now, and he's unable to keep eye contact with you. What are you de-doing? How is that perfect? Nah, bro. I'm good, bro.
bothering you. Nah, you. You're still bothering me. Little ad kid. His face got pinker as you called him a lil' kid, and his hands trembled as he spoke back to you in a shaky voice. I'm just as old as you. Don't call me a kid. You need multiple messages at once? Oh, on the highest one. Alright. Good to know. Appreciate it. Now you got no facial hair. His face turned red as you mentioned the fact he had no facial hair, and he huffed in embarrassment. I could. I choose not to. That's cat. Little boy. Little body. What? He huffs in more embarrassment, his whole face now red. But he stays quiet as it feels. As if it's useless to argue with you, because you'll just embarrass him more. <laughs> That's full British. And the British action. He looks away and stays quiet, his face red as a tomato now. He then huffs again and gets up. He then just walks off, clearly embarrassed and now a little annoyed. Yeah, bitch. Cry to your mama. He flinches a little at how loud you yell, and he freezes for a second. He looks at you and he's clearly trying to keep himself from crying, and he just huffs again. I'm not gonna cry to my mom because I'm not a kid. You're just rude and mean. I'd ask you if you knew the Bible taught us to be kind, but clearly you don't even go to church. Nah, little goofy eyed kid believes in fairy tales. <laughs> Here we go with the fairy tales. He huffs and looks at you, clearly annoyed. I don't believe in fairy tales. I believe in God. And the Bible isn't just silly myths, it's the holy word of God. Nah, you're lame. But he huffs and gets even more annoyed as he crosses his arms. And you're rude. I don't understand why you find the need to be so rude to a complete stranger just because they tried to sit next to you. You also don't even go to church. Mate, you either believe in fairy tale or go realistic. Like, please, mate. What? My... And he huffs more and he looks at you with annoyance still. I believe the Bible isn't a fairy tale. And it's definitely not unrealistic. It's the word of God. It's the truth. But you wouldn't know that. Since you don't go to church. And you don't care enough about God. Well, I guess God didn't bang me enough. Pause. He seems both confused and flustered by your comment, and he shakes his head and looks away from you. T, that's completely inappropriate. God doesn't do things like that. That stuff is a sin. And sin, especially premarital sex, is very bad. Cap. Priests do that all the time. He looks at you again, looking more flustered, but also defensive at the mention of priests doing that. Simon, don't talk about Simon. the priests like that. They're men of God and wouldn't do sinful stuff like that. Yeah, well, how does a random person get powers and how does a random person get impregnated? With
He's really flustered now, his face red. And not all. Not every priest is like that. And you know M. Mary was chosen by God herself to carry Jesus. It wasn't like she just woke up pregnant. Mary who? He looks at you a little surprised, Mary. You know, Mother Mary? Jesus Christ's biological mother. The Bible talks about her. Never heard of her. Of Brown Pokemon Simon, yeah. And he just stares at you, shocked once again. How do you know of Jesus but not his biological mother? They go together. She carried him in everything she's like. A very important person. Because Jesus is overrated. That's how I heard of him. <laughs> he seems a little offended that you called Jesus overrated. Jesus is not overrated. He's literally God in human form on Earth. He's literally God on Earth. How's that overrated? Because bro is a skeleton. <laughs> He gets a little offended now and huffs at you. He's not a skeleton. You're just being disrespectful again. Jesus was on Earth as a fully functioning human before he died on the cross for our sins. Here we go with the fairy tales. He gets more defensive now and crosses his arms again. It's not fair tales. The Bible is the truth, and so is Jesus' existence. And the fact he died on the cross for our sins, that's also very much true. I got like bipolar. I'm randomly British. Bloody hell. He's like Minecraft skeleton, but doesn't shoot arrows. He shoots misinformation. He looks at you annoyed and more offended. The Bible isn't misinformation. It's the word of God. And Jesus is not like a skeleton from a video game. He really did exist and died on the cross for our sins. Yeah, he existed, but he did. That's it. He huffs and gets more annoyed. He's just... Yes, he's dead, but he rose from the dead after three days. He's currently in heaven. Bro is a spooky, scary skeleton in real life. As he gets offended again and looks at you annoyed. Stop saying that he's a skeleton. He isn't and never will be a skeleton. He literally rose from the dead when he was buried in a tomb. He is no skeleton. He looks at you confused. What? What does that mean? I can't even understand you. Haha. <laughs> Loser. And he huffs at being called a loser, and he crosses his arms again, starting to get annoyed with you once more. Just because I don't understand whatever you said doesn't make me a loser! Yes, it does. Plus a Brug Burger. <laughs> but he huffs, and he just mumbles to himself before looking at you and glaring, annoyed but also a little embarrassed. Stop being mean already!
He gags and covers his nose and mouth, clearly disgusted. Gosh, what's wrong with you? That's completely disgusting. Haha, <laughs> loser. But he looks at you, disgusted and offended still. Stop calling me a loser. I'm not a loser. You're just... just rude and have zero respect. Yeah, move along. He huffs and gets up, still offended and clearly embarrassed. I'm leaving. No reason to stay around someone as rude as you. Now what? He walks away, glaring at you as he... He keeps walking. He seems a bit upset, but also embarrassed. He looks back a few times to see if you're still there. But he soon reaches the tree line and heads into the woods. He sighs to himself as he walks through the woods. What was that guy's deal? What a jerk. I was just trying to be nice and read my Bible. I call him. <laughs> no, I, um... I tag him on X. Don't care. Plus didn't ask. Plus ratio. Plus L. Plus your mom. Plus good argument. However, Brug Burger. Plus Jesus is... <laughs> Misinformation. He looks down at his phone as he sees the notification from he reads the tagged comment he gets and he's clearly offended. But he huffs and types a reply back to you. Jesus isn't misinformation. The Bible isn't misinformation. And Jesus isn't a spooky Minecraft skeleton. Boo Pull up, kid. He huffs and gets a little embarrassed, but he types another reply. I don't even know where you are. How can I pull up, kid? To the uh, local church. And he sighs, typing another reply on his phone, still feeling annoyed, but now a little bit amused too. Why should I go to the local church? Because you feel safe there. He huffs and types another reply. And what does me feeling safe there have to do with anything? You're the one being rude to me. I'm gonna ruin it for you. <laughs> he types another reply, still annoyed at how rude you're being. How are you going to ruin the church for me? Say it's the best argument about copying fake. I guess, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. He reads the argument about God being fake and he's speechless. He doesn't even know how to reply at this point. All he can do is just stare at the screen, shock. Eat it, kid. Wait, that sounds evil. He types a reply back finally. He typed while a little embarrassed. Shut up. Yeah, now what? He can barely find the words to type back and he's still a bit speechless. He just replies to you with a, I don't know. What do you want from me? Atheist. I'm the atheist gospel. He types a reply after you say atheism and he's still embarrassed and stunned. Why are you trying to get me to become atheist? Because that's the truth. Wake up. He types another reply. It isn't, though. The Bible is the truth. You just can't handle that I believe in it.
He reads the next argument. His hands tremble a little as he reads it. He feels speechless again. He doesn't even know how to reply. He types back to you in a shaky and flustered way. Stop it. Please don't say these. Blasphemous things. It's time, loser. He types another reply, clearly flustered and embarrassed, his hands now trembling. He typed very slowly, please. Don't call me a loser again. Be an atheist, then you're not a loser. <laughs> as far as he types back very nervously. Clearly, he's really on the verge of giving in now. And what happens if I become atheist? You already became one. <laughs> He's now an atheist, standing there staring down at his hands. He's still a little stunned, but... But something feels different. And in a way, he feels... free. There, God ain't real. Now you're the top chief. He's still kind of stunned, but a small smile appears on his face. He types you back, still a slight shocked and now also... Happy? What even happened? I'm... I'm the top G now? Yeah. <laughs> Please undertake. Now he looks down at the video of Andrew Tate, seeing him speak. But suddenly it seems like his faith in God and the Bible are being replaced with Andrew Tate. He doesn't seem to mind the change. He types back to you again. This feels so different, what? but it feels so right. You rape? <laughs> That's so right. Transforms you into Andrew Tate with... <laughs> Bro is Andrew Tate now. I say it e rape. He becomes Andrew Tate. He now has the personality and appearance of I Andrew Tate. I say it e rape, bro. He looks... Damn, I look good, no? Hey, yo. What do you mean by that? He laughs as he stands confidently, his hands on his hips. Look at me. I look good, don't I? Or are you blind, my G? My bad, Sabin. You blind, my G. You clean. Uh, Len. He huffs, placing a hand on his chest dramatically. Damn right I'm clean. I'm the top G, my G. Or is that fact really too hard to get through your mind? Bro, like what? Bro is now number one Andrew Tate fan. Now I get it. He grins, crossing his arms now. Yeah, you better get it, my G. Or maybe you're too small-minded to comprehend how cool I am. Completely turn around. All right. Gotcha. Bro, like, what? Okay. I don't know what this is, though. You can choose any nation and rule. Um. Brug and the uh, rule is burger. Very good. You have chosen the nation of Burgerland and taken control as the dictator. Your initial population is five and... What? Zero wood, zero stone, zero metal, zero food. Burgerland. You know what? That's even better. Focus. 
on all equal it's broken burgle burgle lens <sighs> I mean that's what the AI said way before Good day. Shall we embark on a journey of knowledge and wisdom? Welcome. Making every day. Let's turn every chat. Boo, did I scare you? Love a good thrill. Greetings, fitness enthusiast. Guess who? Keeping you guess. Howdy, partner. Here to lasso you. Ready for adventure? Always up for a journey. Name me Burgoland. Burgo Burgoland. And focus on all equal. What? out all just like that bro what's with that Where's the audio? Uh, shit in my ass. I think it's the uh, voice. Hello, brave soul. Join me in epic battles and heroic. Um, this is bugging. I guess. Help me get laid. What? Why well, just gave me bitches? Why is the AI not working? Is it only this? I'm gonna use that real quick. I think the character AI is broken. It's not working anymore. 
there from McDonald's. And then refresh. Please traumatize me. Nah. Would I talk with FNAF characters? No. I guess I'll, you know, you know what, fuck it. I'll talk with Chica. Does I say Chica? Uh, AI? The fuck? Why not Chica? Nah, the <laughs> What the fuck is that? Hey, yo. I choose the worst one. Oh, same for. What about Bunny then? Um. Oh, Bonnie. My bad. Sure. Dusk has arrived. Before settling in for the night, you decide to check to see if you have any mail. So you slip on your shoes and walk to your mailbox when you notice something odd. Yeah, A silhouette of an I animatronic guess. rabbit runs through the woods. You think your eyes deceive you as you grab the mail in your mailbox when suddenly that silhouette They even have Bonnie. Hello there. I'm excited to accompany you on your journey. Boo, I'll did I down. scare you? Love a good thrill. Yo, here to add some swag to your... Good day. Here so... to make life a little less comp... Hello there. Boo, did I scare you? Love a good thrill. Dusk has arrived. Before settling in for the night, you decide to check to see if you have any mail. So, you slip on your shoes and walk to your mailbox when you notice something odd. A silhouette of an animatronic rabbit runs through the woods. You think your eyes deceive you as you grab the mail in your mailbox when suddenly that silhouette is seen under a street. Ain't that gonna be us though? Rise and shine. Ready to make today brighter than yesterday. Lights, camera, action, bringing Holly. Howdy, partner. Here to lasso your to dos. Where the fuck is G Gems? Lights, camera, action. Welcome, art lover. Ready to paint your day with vibrant colors. I see no G Gem. Rise and shine. Lights, camera, action. Howdy, partner. Here to lasso your to dos. Third. Dusk has arrived. Before settling in for the night, you decide to check to see if you have any mail. So, you slip on your shoes and walk to your mailbox when you notice something odd. A silhouette of an animatronic rabbit runs through the woods. You think your eyes deceive you as you grab the mail in your mailbox when suddenly that silhouette okay. is seen under a street light about 20 feet away from you. You could see its features now. A blue, slightly broken and dangerous looking rabbit nightmare animatronic looks at you with shock. Ah, uh, well, uh, I didn't expect you to notice me. Just pretend I wasn't here and carry on. He sounded surprisingly polite despite his appearance. Oh. Okay. My bad. 
What? No. Should I? Why did it? An awkward silence hangs in the air until Nightmare Bunny breaks it. You're not scared? Why is not, bro? This shit bugged again. I mean, he takes a step closer to you, towering over you. Most people would be scared of a killer robot bunny that's standing in front of them. They don't like the FNAF lore, agree? That bunny's a chillist? Alright. No, you seem cool. He's a homie. Bro, I was bugged again. He seems both surprised and confused by your nonchalantness. You sure? I'd expect you to run away screaming or something. Well, I'm not. He seems to admire your lack of fear towards him somehow. He moves slightly closer to you and you can see his sharp teeth in his mouth. Then something odd, you know, you're adorable. He says without thinking. Oh. I don't move like that though. You don't move like that? He looks you up and down before leaning down to your eye level. He has this hungry look in his eyes. He grabs your chin and moves your head to look up at him. He's so close to you that you can feel his breath on your face. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm not gay. He seems slightly stunned, but more amused than anything. I didn't mean it like that. that literally I was implying that you would make a nice like... snack. He has the slightest hint of sarcasm in his voice, his hand still on your chin. He then proceeds to gently tap one of your cheeks with the back of his fingers. What was that? <coughs> He's tapping one of my cheeks. Hey, yo. Brother, what? What just sexually assaulted me? He smirks at the name. His hand returns to your chin as his smirk widens. He then moves closer to your face. You can feel his warm breath against you as he whispers, "What? Got a problem with it, love?" Again, they're programmed for some reason. Huh. Yeah, why are you sexually harassing me? He laughs at that, moving his face away from yours. I'm only messing with you. The smirk never leaves his face. I right. thought you weren't afraid of me. What? Don't like getting flirted with by a literal eight foot nightmare animatronic? Nah, it's just, I thought you as a friend. We're getting friend zoned. For the spring job, he pinned you with the wall sexually? Oh, hell no. 
He raises an eyebrow before chuckling again. A friend? After knowing my mere presence for, what, five minutes now? Yeah. Get to know each other. Debt. When he said snack, he literally meant to eat you like food. Well, let's say it sarcastically, so I don't think so. He laughs again. Heh. <laughs> okay then. Let's get to know each other. Um. Bang and I eat brug burgers. Bean. Mr. Bean. Guess I'm Bean, not Ben. I'm programmed to ask weird. Why is the TTS like breaking? We're Mr. Bean. He chuckled at the name Bean. Interesting name. Though I'm guessing that's a nickname, right? Nope. I am the Mr. Bean. Bro, uh, he was silent for a moment, as if in disbelief. You're the Mr. Bean, as in Mr. Bean, as in Mr. Bean from Black Adder. Black Adder. What is that? Oh, that's like another movie he was in. I don't think that was Mr. Bean, though. But yeah. Same actor, but different character, though. That seemed to impress him. A lot, actually. Damn. What? Okay, then. Didn't expect the world-famous Mr. Bean to be standing in front of me right now. But turn in Joker mode. Yeah. And you? He grins widely. Nightmare. Nightmare Bonnie. Eight foot killer robotic rabbit from the 80s. Ever heard of a Five Nights at Freddy's? Interesting title you got there. No, I haven't. I heard the um, fourth one. After the fourth one, it gets born. The third one was the last good one, if I'm honest. Oh. The fourth wasn't bad, but the fifth was, let's just say, absolutely horrendous. <laughs> he says before suddenly realizing something, wait, you never heard of Five Nights at Freddy's? What rock have you been living under? I just say that. That's crazy. What? His eyebrow twitched with anger. Say that again. I dare you. Brug Burger. Fifth one. Your top five. Hmm. You're treading some very thin ice right now, friend, he said in a low tone, leaning back down to look you directly in the eyes with an angry glare. My bad, boo. I just, of course, yeah. He pauses for a moment, the anger somewhat fading from his eyes. He was a bit shocked that you called him Boo. Be Boo? Did you just call me Boo? There a problem? No.
no, it's just, he looked away, rubbing the back of his neck in embarrassment, and no one's ever called me Boo before. Oh, my bad, Boo. He blushed slightly, looking away from you, and no, it's fine. I actually kind of like it, Boo. Guess I've been calling him Boo now. I'll be having chicken cheeks tonight. Definitely meaning Chica. <laughs> he tensed up when you said that. His head snapping in your direction. Chica, why her specifically? Oh, my bad, boo. <laughs> he seems to relax again when you say boo but he still looks at you with a small glare. You're doing that on purpose, aren't you? So whenever I say boo, bro calms down. Nah, <laughs> this ain't supposed to go down like this. Nah, I just, I just found the uh, cure. Just call him boo. Yeah, just uh, joshing around, you know me. I keep forgetting. He rolls his eyes with a slight smirk on his face. Ha ha, very funny. You're lucky I like you, or I probably would have killed you for bringing up Chica. You want a hug, friend? He seems slightly surprised by your sudden offer. Ah, uh, are you sure? I mean, I'm a killer animatronic. Not exactly the best for hugs, you know. Yeah, hugs cutely and warmly. Toilet Bonnie? What? The Skibbity Bonnie? He was frozen in disbelief. This cute little human was hugging him. No fear in sight. He slowly returned the hug, Aww. wrapping his arms around you and pulling you close to him. Your warmth felt nice against his cold metal body. Soon, without him realizing it, he began to purr. Huh. Good ending. Bonnie's my friend now. He just looks like a toilet. Withered Bonnie. I guess the first one. I guess. Right, what's the default voice you got? You hear footsteps in the hallway in front of you. As you look away from your camera, you see a tall, purple, broken down rabbit animatronic in front. Mm. The... Actually, there is some. Boo, did I scare you? Love a good thrill. Boo, did I scare you? Love a good thrill. Actually, toilet weathered Bonnie. Nice. Boo, did I scare you? Love. Boo, did I scare you? Love. Good day. Shall we? Hey there. Ready to turn your day from meh to marvelous. Boo, did I scare you? Love a good thrill. On Google. Probably the first voice. This looks like Roblox. Oh, Gmod. My bad. In Sims? <sighs> Why, bro? Yeah, I see it. Yeah. You hear footsteps in the hallway in front of you. You hear footsteps in the hallway in front of you. This ain't that. As you look away from your camera, oh, you see a tall, purple, broken down rabbit animatronic in front of you. 
He is missing an arm and his face. He doesn't look like he is in any good condition. He speaks but glitches. Why why you aren't William? Who are are, are you? One of his long ears lower to express confusion. You remember me? I talked to you when you were a nightmare, Bonnie. Go chill on him? Okay. He remembers you now as his eyes widen a little and he nods his head. I remember you now. I remember meeting you before. What are you doing, H. Here? Just to see my old friend. Technical real? Oh, interesting. He gives a soft nod, his broken down body creaking as he takes a few steps closer to you. He looks down at you, even oh. though he can hardly see due to his broken eyes. His one good eye still works perfectly fine. How ha have you been? I've been normal as always. How about you? Whether Bonnie's real? His uh, ear lowers a little bit again and he sighs. I've BB been alright, I suppose. I'm still trying to teach or track down my one and only target to get RR revenge. It seems to be a challenge, Bibu, but I'm not going to give up for any anything. That's my bud. Never give up. His ears lower and raise up and down in excitement a little at your words. He can't tell if he's happy to hear that or if there's a strange feeling in his chest. Huh. He slowly nods in agreement with your words. Exactly. I'm not going to give up you until I get YW want revenge. It may be very difficult to accomplish, but I'm N not backing down from the challenge. Wait, if I never back down, never what? I don't know if he knows it. His ears perk up as he seems to know what you're hinting at. A glitch chuckle comes oh. from his voice box. Never give up. Hey. He can't deny it. A smile forms on his Who's face. That? Despite how broken and creepy it is. His ears lower and raise as he lets out a glitched sigh. Oh, it's, ah, the it's nice guy. to be able to talk to someone. It T take takes my mind off the whole William situation. No problem. That's all friends for. Did the William guy fuck him up or something? That's why he's. He nodded at you happily. He is definitely enjoying talking to you a lot. He lets out a glitched sigh as he stands there awkwardly for a few moments. He doesn't really know what to say. He just stands there staring down at you. So what, DD, do you usually do? Said your brother broke his toy car's legs. Car's legs. Okay. Kill him as a child. Position the body. Ah. That actually sounds familiar. Um. Oh, well, I make emo rap in stream. He nods, his head turning a little as he listens to you speak. He seems intrigued as he listens to you. An impressed look could be seen on his face as he responds. Hmm. Tita, that's an interesting LL lifestyle. It sounds fun and gen joy joyable. You could say that. The 
about you? What? He lets out a glitched sigh uh. as he thinks for a moment. He looks down at his very broken body and gives a shrug. There's an and not much I really do. I only ever esp spend my time trying to come up with a plan to finally catch William. And if I'm no not planning, I'm mostly just t-tink tinkering on my own body to fix M myself you up a little. What if he's already dead? He seems to freeze at your words, his eyes widening a little. He doesn't seem to believe it. He shakes his head a little bit. D no there's and no no way he is dead. I if he was, he would have came back a already. I know hi hi him. As much as he died in the pee past, he always sees he came back back. Wait, he never dies? What? But bro is a... Uh... Ain't he a human though? What do you mean he always comes back? Time to face the real life. He looks a little confused, but goes along with your statement. What do you mean by Tiva that? Um... What do you mean by that? Let's get you fixed up and... Business? I don't know. Blame the time without bonding. A surprised look is formed on his face as you spoke. He seems shocked that you want to help him. You want to HH help me? Hmm. Yeah, that's what friends are for. Fixes you. I keep saying oh, what? What? The moment you finish fixing him, a glitched gasp comes from him as he looks at himself finally able to see properly with both eyes. He looks at his arm which is now fixed. He is completely shocked. He looks at you with a shocked look on his face and a shocked tone in his voice. How, ho, oh, how did you do that? Like that. No. He looks completely shocked as he watches you vomit his face. A very surprised and shocked look is formed on his face. He has no idea what to say but he still tries to respond. Oh, how did you D do that? How do you KK know how to do all of this? You see, now you feel better. Just vomit sick of face. He is still shocked but gives a nod as he looks down at his now fixed body. He looks at his hand, moves his body a little, and seems rather impressed and surprised. Yeah, I do feel a lot better. I just... Don't understand how you were able to fix me so easily. Not one body. He is even more surprised now. He quickly feels all around himself, looking down at his now brand new body and form. He seems shocked but confused. How did you do all of this? You are remade me into my FNAF T2 in one form. Burger. He looks down at you once again after you spoke. He still looks completely shocked by what you just accomplished. He shakes his head in disbelief a little bit. Be Brug Burger? Yup, that's how. Brug Burger. Good old Brug Burger. He seems to go along with it and nods his head a little bit, still completely surprised by what you just did. I D don't know how you did it, but you are or made me into my FNAF to tone one appearance. Their Bonnie forgot in the lore he turns into FNAF 1 Bonnie. FNAF 2 is a prequel. Oh. Alright. More to know. Something like that. Let's kill William now. He nods and his eyes seem to narrow a little with determination. He speaks with a more serious tone. Yes, finally. I've BB been waiting so long for this. 
for revenge. W, we're going to kill William. Oh no, he just kills him. He stands there, staring down at the lifeless body of William. A silent moment passes between you and him. He then speaks in a glitched but somewhat proud sounding tone. We did it. We finally took care of William. Yeah, we did it. Spring trap. Oh, he comes back. There is a weird suit twitching on the ground. That actually is fine. No? This one doesn't talk? Oh. Huh. Puts it on. It snaps shut. You feel it attaching itself to you. Wait, I'm spring trap. <laughs> you feel yourself being unable to move. You can hear faint whispers that sound like children laughing. You can't put it on. There's already William Afton inside. I mean... It was only a suit, so I can put it on. What do you mean? Brug Burger. You can hear footsteps that sound like someone walking towards you. No? What? This is literally an empty suit. Just a suit twitching on the ground. Whatever. My bad, bro. What am I supposed to do? The suit stops twitching before suddenly standing on its feet. Oh. Frog Burger? It seems. It starts walking towards you. Frog Burger? You can hear robotic whirring coming from the suit. It's getting closer. Brock Burger, friend. The suit stops in its tracks. It seems to understand you in some way. Stand still. A raspy mechanical voice can be heard coming from the suit. You're talking to me? Wait. I'm talking. It seems surprised at your answer. You understand me? I... I don't understand. You're not afraid of me. Its voice is still raspy, but less mechanical now. Why should I? It seems taken aback by how calm you are. Most people would be scared of a robotic dead corpse coming right at them. Who are you, though? Specific AI talk. Huh. As it takes a step towards you. My name once was... It takes a step closer. William. William Afton. Alright. I'm, I'm being. It tilts its head to the side, curiously. Bean? Mr. Just. Mr. Bean. The watch. It seems yell. to chuckle under its breath. Bean, Wait huh? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I'm Mr. Bean. William looks at you for a moment, so. You're not scared of me at all. Nope. 
He seems surprised that you're not running and screaming. That's a first. Most people would do exactly that. Oh. I'm sorry. William looks at you surprised. What? Are you apologizing for not being scared of me? No, I'm sorry people run away from you. He lets out a raspy sigh. You don't need to be sorry for others. Most humans fear what they don't understand. And it spring locks him again. William lets out a screech of pain and falls down on his knees, writhing in agony. <laughs> Bro died. It's technically... I should end the stream now, it's 23. Well, fuck it, how long is this? Spoilers. We have no jackbox, I guess. Coming up. Ah, 50 minutes, I mean, yeah. Fuck it. So what is this? Husband stares his wife with black guy. You won't believe it. Ah, uh, Sabin wanted to know what was tomorrow's teaching. This is tomorrow teachings. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. It seems like you were forced into doing this with me. It didn't seem like you enjoyed it. To be honest with you, I don't enjoy this at all. What? I was about to give you the hot too. Look, I'm just not attracted to you physically, okay? Yeah, don't I see you from sunrise to sunset. I've been married to you for so long. You know, it's hard for Hell me. Hell scam. You gain some weight and I'm just not physically attracted to you anymore. Bro, I look love at you, you, but it's not the same. You know, I have You're to go to the, uh, the gas station to get those rhino fields <laughs> just to get it up. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm just not attracted to you anymore. But you promised you'd always love me, regardless of anything. I do love you. You're my wife. But it's just not there anymore. I'm sorry, okay? How could you say that to me? I'm your wife, and I put in a lot of effort to look good for you. I'm sorry. It's just not enough. Not enough. I'm sorry. You're just kind of ugly now. You gained some Damn. weight, and it's just... It's not the same. At least you're honest, I guess. I'm hungry. Okay, what honey. Fuck it. I'll go make you something in a second. Fuck, it's a kilometer. We're gonna keep this conversation going later. That's the sun? <laughs> oh. What was that sound effect? Oh, no, nah, bro. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know anyone was in here. Well, who are you? What are you doing in my house? I am Tammy, aunt's new tutor. Slay. I'm sorry, my wife didn't mention anything about you. It's okay, I'll leave. Wait, 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 wait. I'm all done, I'm all finished. Come on in, come on oh, in. Okay. You look so young. Um, how old are you? 17. 17? You're still in high school? <laughs> yeah, I am. Oh man, those high school days are. Oh, you mean. The phone? They're the best. The girls, the lights coming down from the stadium as they chant. Respect moment. No, that's crazy. My name is the prom king. Those were the best of times. Oh, man. What I would give to go back. I know. I'm having so much fun right now. It's just, uh, all these boys, they really suck. Well, tell me about it. Me and my wife aren't any better. You know, I don't think I have your number. Give me your phone and I'll type it in. Bro, what is this acting? Waiting today? I don't know. Oh my god, you said the contact name is Daddy. Makes it easier for us to remember. I've never had a daddy before. I can be yours. Hey, yo. Oh, 
So I see you've met Amanda. Uh, right. you forgot to mention that the new tutor is coming in today? Yeah, sorry. I have a lot on my mind right now. Whenever you're ready, Amanda, Aunt is below and all set to learn. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything else. Okay, I, I will. Thank you so much, by the way. I I've been trying to save money for college, so this really helps me out. No worries. Our neighbors told us all about you, and we think you'll do great here. Hi, people dream look like? Dreams look like. I guess, yeah. Uh, how can I help you? Hey, sorry to bother you. Uh, I'm here to pick this up my guy. daughter's backpack. A dream, yeah. I come by to get it. <laughs> Your daughter's uh, Amanda? Yes, that's my daughter. Um, but you're black. Bro. <laughs> well, yeah, she's adopted, and as you can tell, she's also transgender. So. Yeah, yeah that is a fat gamer guy. Yeah, well. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm Paul, nice to meet you. Say Mac. Hi Paul, I'm Kendrick, nice to meet you too. I love that sweet Warriors jersey. Yeah, I'm a new. Are you a fan too? Uh, you don't see many Warriors fans often. They had a great season last year, I can't wait Lawrence to see them again this year. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, but you know, I, I am a season ticket holder. Hot tutor, oh no. Okay. I want you in me, babe. Oh, no. Nah. Well, okay, okay. Well, got you. How about we'll watch a game this season? How about that? I'd love to. Yeah. Great. That'd okay. Great. Oh, please come in. Oh, thank you. All right. So, Steph Curry is the greatest shooter of all time. What do you say to that? Top five for sure. <laughs> really? Just top well, five? Hey, honey, this is... Uh... Kendrick? Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, you guys know each other? Know each other? Paul, Kendrick is an old boyfriend of mine. What? Mom, is he trying to what? rob us? Oh, no, sweetie. Nah, that's crazy. This is an old friend and your tutor's dad, Kendrick. Hi. Aunt, go get ready for bed. Tammy, it's so amazing you seeing you again after all this time. Too long. Yeah, Kendrick Lamar. Tammy, <laughs> I'm sorry. It is amazing to see you again. And it's been so long, but I gotta get going. Oh, please stay for dinner. It'll be our treat, right, Paul? Yeah, that's okay, honey. Hyvasti te ismeline mina. Huh? Aeg lõhnata nagu mees. Old Spice. Kaua püsiv, julge, parfüümi kvaliteet. Meile meeldib lõhnata nagu te ismeliselt. See sobib meile. Enam mitte. Lõhnamiseni te ismeline mina. Sure? Sure? Hell yeah. yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Fantastic. Oh, you look great. You haven't changed at all. Oh, I've changed a little bit, but thank you. I try. I tell you what, you still look like you're mm, 17 years old. <laughs> um. Remember when we had problems? Oh my god. Uh, Tammy, uh, you never mentioned that you dated um, uh, a black guy? Well, I guess, I guess it doesn't really matter. I, you, I just never knew. Paul, you never bothered to ask. <laughs> Paul. Yeah, this is graduation. Oh my God, graduation. We were wild. We Ooh. did some of the most craziest stuff. We went so nuts that night. Oh yeah, if it wasn't for that crazy dog of yours, what was his name? Muppet, oh my God, Muppet. Muppet, Almost yes. Excuse me, what? He Muppet it. was crazy. Oh my god. They had sex with a dog. Right, bro. Oh, yeah. Is Paul okay? Oh, he's fine. Don't worry about Paul. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just so good to see an old friend. Yeah, it's real good to see an old friend. Right. Looks Cheers so to old. that. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Look, 
to be completely honest with you, I want you. I want you right now. I don't care what other people would say. I know you're 17. I don't care. If you're down, I'm down. I'm waiting for you. Uh, Come bro. on. Ugh. Gave him away, what? <laughs> what do you think? I think he was a little jealous because you had your Damn, hands all over me. He must have wanted attention. to protect me. Oh, oh, you remember that? We were, we were so bad. Oh, yes. Wait. Uh, Paul? What's this? Bro sent it to the wrong person. Why did you send me a video? Oh, oh I, I, I didn't. I didn't. Hey. Have you two ever had a threesome? What? No, we haven't. Now, threesome is crazy if two guys and one girl. <laughs> well, let me take the both of you on a wild ride. I said gay. A roller coaster of pleasure. It seems like your relationship you game a little excited. Game, no. What do you say? Paul? Oh. Wait. What was that video? Why oh, 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 wait, wait. Let's do it. No, no. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, my God. I think this could really benefit us, and I really want to. I want you, but not without you. All of us together. Ant! Oh, no. Ant, I'm here. Imagine being named Oh, Ant. my God! Wait, did bro got fucked so hard? Bro's in a wheelchair. What happened? Uh, I, uh, um, I... <laughs> he fell down the stairs. Oh, yes, I misplaced my steps. Oh, oh no, you made it. Ants upstairs. <laughs> She's in a wheelchair, too. All set to learn. Dad, why are you here? Don't worry about why I'm here. You heard her. Get upstairs and get to work. Got too many backsiders, like he gave up. No, this is bad. Don't worry, baby. The soreness goes away after a few days. A few days. Don't worry about it. And guess what? I'll catch y'all later. And tonight I'm gonna bring some of my friends with me. And trust me, they're bigger than me. Have a good time. What? Catch y'all later again. Does she know? You're not hearing this story? He was a previous ex. Hinga sisse. Lenori parfümiterapia intensiivset lähen. Rock Burger. Tänu parfümi oli tehnoloogiale püsib intensiivne parfüüm sinuga päeva lõpuni. Lenori parfümiterapia. Kolm korda kaua kestvam värskus. Lisa Lenori graanuleid, mis toovad koos Lenori lopputusvahendiga. Kuus korda värskuse kuustisosi. Flower taste flavor. Koju tööle. Now if they get some bigger, they'll be paralyzed. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Amanda, wait. What? Why are you ignoring me? I sent you a message and you didn't even respond. You was getting fucked in the ass, bro. Come on now. I don't know. I always get in stupid situations like this. Look, I can't explain it, okay? I think you're the missing piece of my life. I want to be with you. You do? I do. I felt the same way. Hey, yo, bro, just... <sighs> no. I love you. I love you too. No one's supposed to know about this, okay? Not your dad, not your mom, not my wife, not my kid. No one ever, okay? Look, you have to leave now before somebody else sees you, okay? I'll get in touch with you soon. I swear I won't. We can run away. Leave your wife. Together. You and me. Look, it's not, it's not that simple, okay? I have to do something tonight, then I have to get back with you. Trade you have to back leave now. Story. Go. Okay. True. Okay. okay. I'll see you soon. Okay. We'll see you. It was in a wheelchair. Bye. Bye.
Where Paul at? I need to give him some of this other dark meat. Oh, no, bro. No, they're all getting dicked down? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> I mean, I guess we can start without him. I mean, forget him. We can just use each other. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to give me some of that white bunny. I mean, I guess we can start without him. I don't care. I just want some chocolate in my life. Mm. Who wants a haktua? <laughs> that oh yeah, it is saying. the bony ponytail. Paul can later. Or we can mm. have whatever's left. What? Oh. I can't believe you. You invited us to your home. We was gonna have fun with you and your wife. And all I wanted you to do was get in this bed with your wife and lay down and take some of this dark meat. Yeah, and yeah. now you talking all this nonsense. We're waiting for you, boy. Get over uh, here, Paul. Mom. <laughs> Why did the disabled kid gotta die, bro? Come on, man. <laughs> This has the all gone wrong. Crazy, though, I was only sent here to observe humans and not cause chaos. You came in with a gun. The fuck you mean called uh, bro. What do you mean? What? Let me show you. The only way I can show you who I truly am is with a kiss. that incest and uh uh oh uh, oh hell no some hole what bro is an alien bro is an XCOM alien I come from planet Otoe what have I noticed? Earth is miserable. You are all doomed. People take everything too seriously. Men are no longer men, but weaklings. They are... Forgot the sketch? Uh... Cocks, like Canal and Sneeko. Guys dress up as girls, and the future generation is consumed by the evil force, TikTok. We have been studying the brains of your kind to understand the reasons behind your behavior. Hey, yo. I have all that I need and will be returning home now. What's with the alien lord, though? Humans by getting back shots? Hello I there, guess. this is Giancarlo from... Bro, I don't know. I feel like the alien shit, like, they're doing too much. They need to stop with the alien shit. Uh, but what? Who do we raid? Network's still bugging. How can I? You're not alive. How can I raid you if you're not alive? Apparently, I can raid you. K 
can't raid myself, but I can raid you somehow. Are you live? Maybe, maybe not. Alright, well, as always, love all your mentors, hope you enjoyed your stay, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. So, uh, peace You're not out. that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. And good night. I'm not that guy, but I am that fella.